Back to the paleo mailbag. Our question today comes to us from Rick McPherson. Hi, Rick. Uh, the question is, we have coprolites, or fossilized feces, but any such thing as dinosaur pea fossils, direct or trace? Oh, that's a great question. We know dinosaurs poop. They've left their poop all throughout the fossil record. These things, called coprolites, as Rick said, are uh, basically preserved dino feces, and sometimes they have uh, snails or other things in them. They tell us quite a bit about what the dinosaur is eating and the environment in which it was in. But what about dinosaur pee? I mean, could dinosaurs do that? Uh, well, for a while, uh, it, there wasn't any trace of this whatsoever. There are pea fossils called urolites, uh, known from other prehistoric organisms, but not from dinosaurs. But recently, there are two trace fossils, so uh, not the actual puddles themselves, but the marks that they made in the sand, one found in South America and one found in Wyoming, that could be dinosaur pea traces. So one is about the size of a bathtub, and it might have been created by uh, one of these large sauropod dinosaurs. The ones from South America are uh, quite quite a bit smaller, and just these splashes in the prehistoric sand. So what does this tell us about dinosaur biology? Well, if you look at birds today, they often package their urine and their um, harder material, waste material, together into one package. So you get that goopy stuff on your car or on the sidewalk. It's all in one, one package. But ostriches, sometimes they jettison the liquid waste first, followed by the solid waste. So if these pea traces are what they seem to be, that tells us that a dinosaur like Brachiosaurus is ambling along, letting out the liquid waste, and then laying down the solid waste. Um, Two isn't a great sample size, though, so if you're a uh, paleontologist or a fossil finder out there, be on the lookout for fossil splashes in the rock.